Hi everybody, I am Julian. In this video, I'm going to demo a new AI coding tool called Verdant AI. Verdant lets you run multiple AI agents in parallel, each in its own isolated workspace. So no stepping on each other's code and no code merging nightmare at the end. In the next 10, 15 minutes, I will build a full stack app live, backend, frontend, unit tests, all at the same time. Let's get started. A lot of us are using AI coding tools at the moment, and they're awesome. They definitely add a lot of uh, productivity. Uh, most of the time we start working on a feature, prompting the agent, waiting to see results, testing, and then finding a bug or something we don't like, and, and switching to you know fixing that. And then we move to another thing and then another thing. So we have those long conversations that uh, evolve over time and you know context gets lost uh, or becomes irrelevant and it's making uh, it's making it harder for the agent to actually do a great job you know files are reloaded we need to explain what we were doing five minutes ago etc etc um, and um, the reason for that is because you know this conversation is single threaded right um, and um, and every time we switch to something you know, we lose uh, relevance, we lose context. So um, how about trying to do things in parallel, uh, in isolated tasks? And, uh, and that's really what, uh, what Verdant is trying to solve. So we're going to work with multiple agents. Each one is running in its own workspace, its own context, and they're completely parallel. So obviously um, we focus each agent on a particular thing, and they run in parallel, so hopefully we get more things done in the same amount of time, right? We just assign the tasks to uh, to the agent and we let them run, okay? So let's see if this really works. Uh, and, uh, and using Verdant, I'm going to build a small app and I've decided to build a, 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 a mock-up for uh, an LLM benchmark dashboard, okay? So we're going to build a backend with APIs and we'll use fast API for that. Uh, we'll use a, a front end with React and uh, I can't write any React code. So I'm hoping the agent will do a good job here. And of course we'll need unit tests with PyTest. So three agents and three workspaces running all at once. Okay, so let's switch to the Verdant app and set up the workspaces. Okay, so my starting point is um, an empty project. Okay, uh, everything lives in that Verdant folder. I initialized Git. I have a first silly commit just to create an empty uh, readme file. And there is a single branch called master. Okay, so that's where we start. So now looking at Verdant, uh, we're going to create the three workspaces, uh, front end, back end, and tests. Okay, so let's just go and do that. New workspace. Um, this one, let's just call front end. And well, I guess we'll start from master. Okay, that's the only option right now. Okay, let's do the same for back end. And let's do the same for unit tests. Okay, so I haven't done much so far, just created those, okay? So once I've created the three workspaces, I can see that Verdant has automatically created branches for that, okay? So that's pretty cool because it can then work automatically with those, okay? So here's my backend prompt. Build a fast API backend for an LLM benchmark dashboard. Um, I want a main script with two endpoints, slash models, a list of models with metadata, slash benchmarks, benchmark scores. Okay, so we'll use mock data, um, but we could easily add actual scores in a database. Uh, and, you know, we'll just use some well-known models with that mock data, and these are the benchmarks I want to see. Uh, I want a health endpoint, basic errors, etc., etc. Okay, so nothing too fancy. 
Uh, now let's uh, take care of the front end prompt. To build a React dashboard that displays the benchmarks, uh, we're going to retrieve the data from the two backend APIs we just discussed. I want to see those numbers in a table. I have uh, a simple bar chart for comparison. Uh, you know, just something nice, simple, clean. You know, it's the first version. Nothing weird, single page, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Um, so that's it for our front end, and of course we need tests. So these are uh, our requirements for the test. I want PyTest. I have my three endpoints, models, benchmarks, health. And I guess at this point I want simple tests, making sure the APIs work, making sure the return JSON is correct, et cetera, et cetera. I want to use PyTest, HTTPX, uh, and keep everything nicely organized, okay? Um, so we're ready to run those. Uh, and as you can see, we could pick from a long list of models, right? The uh, cloud models, the uh, Google models, and uh, the OpenAI models. So I'll just stick to uh, Opus 4.5, but feel free to go and uh, experiment. And uh, we could use uh, agent mode, which is what we're going to go for directly. And I'll show you later plan mode. Uh, which you know you may already be familiar with here you know we have decent uh, prompts we've done the homework and we're ready to run that stuff okay so let's just fire them up so here they go starting to work on their uh, individual task we can see here uh, the front end is obviously going to install a whole bunch of packages and dependencies, okay? I don't need to worry about that. And I see the back end, again, is busy creating uh, the app. It might actually be done with that already. Um, and, yeah, the tests are happening as well, okay? So this is really cool. And again, all of that is happening independently in different branches and different work trees. So that's nice. Okay, so the front end is being built. Looks like the back end is done. Yes. Okay, well, that's a simple app, <laughs> but still, uh, we can go and look at the code. Fast API, class benchmarks, some bogus data, but that's what we wanted. And the three, uh, the three APIs and requirements looks fairly reasonable to me. We could ask for a code review. Okay, why not? Let's ask for a code review whilst the other agents are working. We see the thinking code here. Let's see what happens. Okay, so here's the code review. Must fix nothing. Okay, good. <laughs> Should fix uh, some Python um, syntax here. Uh, course. Okay. All right. Well, nothing, nothing too bad. Okay, so we'll just leave it at that. But hey, that's pretty cool. 
we can have this uh, call review in place. Uh, I think the front end is over. Okay, the front end has been created. Okay, a whole bunch of files that I clearly do not want to open. I just want to see that the app works. <laughs> and unit tests, unit tests are complete. Okay, and yeah, we have simple tests. That's what we wanted, uh, and they seem to pass. So all three agents did what they were supposed to do. Um, apparently everything worked out, and uh, I guess the isolation is, uh, is important here. And it took, you know, about two, three minutes max. Um, how much time would it have taken me to do this? Okay, the back end, not too long for sure, uh, but certainly longer than three, four minutes. And the front end would have taken me, yeah, even with an AI assistant, <laughs> I don't know, way too long, right? And the tests, nobody likes to write tests, right? So this is quite fast. Uh, it looks very, very productive to me. So now that the agents are done, um, we should merge those branches into uh, into master and run the app. Okay, so I just asked uh, Verdant in the base workspace to start the app. The back end has been started and the front end has been started to... Um, let's see that it works. Because on top of everything, uh, this is... Uh, course uh, an AI assistant right and we could ask uh, Opus here to go and run some tests and make sure things are okay okay back end works front end seems to work okay now we can try opening the app fingers crossed wow okay that's what I wanted it's very simple but okay that's what I wanted um, table and um, and a benchmark. Uh, we only have three models here, so let, let's add a few more. And this is a nice UI, but maybe we can make it look a little nicer. Uh, so let's uh, let's try and build something. So let's try to have a slightly sexier UI here, uh, maybe a heat map, maybe some colors. And because we have existing code, you know, let's be careful. I'm going to switch to plan mode here. Let uh, the agent think about how it's going to build it. Uh, and uh, if it's convincing, then we'll go and build it. Okay, let's run this. And while it's doing that, okay, uh, we have more models. So let's go and yeah, nice. Okay. Looks a little easier. And again, all those scores are bogus, okay? Ah, so we're getting a question here. Should this replace the dashboard? Or should I create it a separate project? Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, let's have both, all right? Let's just do both visualizations. Okay, okay, so here's the plan. Some new components, some colors, and a toggle. Yeah, let's go build it. Okay, it's done. We can merge. All right, that looks pretty sweet. That's what I wanted. Okay, and uh, well, we could keep iterating for a while. Uh, but hey, I've got a way to create... <laughs> UI code now, which is awesome for me, and uh, and generally I think it's a it's a nice tool. Uh, I like it. I like the isolation. I like the fact that we can create uh, the different workspaces and have uh, autonomous agents building in their own Git environment, um, not uh, stepping on each other's toes. And then when I'm happy with the result, I can just merge the branches and and test the app so there you go verdon.ai um go and uh, and download uh the application and uh, you have a free trial which uh, which is always good and uh yeah curious what you're uh, gonna build with it right uh happy to answer questions in the comment section
I hope you liked it. I certainly had fun uh, testing Verdant. And my friends, until next time, keep rocking.